I am a fan of Young Wolg Bluetooth speakers. The LFS Soundstorm is one of my favorite Bluetooth speakers of all time. Can their budget alternative, the LFS Soundbox, be just as inspiring? I think this is a challenging category. Can you consider this a pocket speaker? Well, maybe, depending upon the size of your pockets, but it's definitely portable and it's definitely interesting. The LFS Soundbox has this tasteful and demure RGB light strip. I think this loop is what they call a silica gel lanyard. It feels like rubber to me. Sadly, these are the controls. Black on black with barely a pattern to be seen. This is not working for me, but this is what they offer. The back of the sound box features this speaker grill. I don't know if these are actually speakers or just passive radiators, but you can definitely hear music coming out of them. Behind this thick rubber door, we have the three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, TF card slot, and USB-C charging port. One thing I should mention, when I test a speaker that claims to be waterproof, I normally just use the Bluetooth function. I have fried way too many of these TF cards to even take a chance on this. However, this time I made a mistake and left the TF card in here. It didn't fry. So that's a testament to this little rubber door. The LFS Soundbox claims it is IPX7 waterproof and I can certify that it is. I had this submerged in a sink full of water for 30 minutes and it continued to play just fine. However, the buttons acted a little wonky at the end. I don't know if that's because of the water or something else. I'm not a fan of these buttons. Speakerphone fans rejoice. The LFS Soundbox has your back. This speaker also supports TWS, true wireless stereo. If you happen to have two of these, you can link them together in a left and right channel configuration. I don't have two of these, so I couldn't test that. However, I have tested it with the LFS Soundstorm and it worked just fine. So I expect this would work as well. This speaker also supports indoor and outdoor modes. I tried it, I could tell there was a difference, but I couldn't identify what the difference was, nor could I differentiate which one I liked best. The speaker has a 3000 milliamp hour battery and they claim you can get 20 hours of music playback out of this. But what you really want to know is how does this speaker sound? The LFS Soundbox has a surprising amount of bass for a speaker this size. It's not going to rattle your teeth, but I could feel my fingers vibrate at a distance of two feet. I do get some distortion at high frequencies once you use this at three quarter volume or higher, but keep it below that and this sounds great. The LFS Soundbox is a worthy speaker, especially at this budget price. It's not perfect. I do not like these controls, but it did protect my TF card while it was being submerged in water for a half hour. So that counts for something. I'm going to give the Soundbox a four out of five stars. Thanks for stopping by.